Hello everyone, this is Kenny and today I'm going to talk about the USB recording out feature for the HT1 5 into 20 Mark II. So all HT Mark II series has a USB recording out where you could connect the amp and the computer via USB and use it as an audio interface. So the big difference between the HT1 and the 5 Mark II is the tone control. On uh, the EQ section for the HT1, there's only the ISF tone control, so it's kind of limited, but still sounds good. You can't get a bad tone. The HT5 and the 20 Mark II has a three band EQ ISF tone control. So let's hear the HT1 Mark II in the USB recorder. Okay, now I'm switching over to the HT5 Mark II. The cool thing about the HT5 and the 20 combo is that you could unplug the speaker and use it as a silent recording amp. The thing about the HT1 is that you can't unplug it, so if you want to use it as a silent recording amp, I would recommend you getting the HT1 head. So I just unplug the speaker on the HT5 Mark II, plug the USB straight into my computer, and using it as an audio interface. So what you're hearing is the, literally the amp itself. So let's hear the HC5 Mark II in action. So when I'm in voice two, you can hear a little bit of that edge of breakup sound, so it's great for that crunchy rhythm guitar tone. Cool thing about the five and the 20 is that there's a three band EQ, so you can really fine tune the voice of the amp the way you like it. So here it is. So I'm on the overdrive channel in voice two, which is the most amount of gain, with most amount of hair. And I'm gonna play with the volume on my guitar to really hear the dynamics, even in the USB recording out. Thank you. 
Thanks for watching. I really do love the feature on the USB out on every HT Mark II series. You get a really nice organic tone from the USB out and also can get a full on all tube tone without waking up the neighbors. So for more information, please check out blackstaramps.com. Thanks for watching. See ya.